Scientists have turned to space to look deep into the ocean. The Scripps Institution of Oceanography has created a map that's twice as accurate as a previous one produced 20 years ago, says Scripps professor David Sandwell, speaking via Skype. The way we're doing that is to use um, a satellite altimeter, a radar, to map the topography of the ocean surface. But the ocean surface topography has these bumps and dips due to gravitational effects that um, mimic what's on the seafloor. The scientists use data from two satellites launched for other purposes. The European Space Agency's Cryo-2 monitors sea ice, and NASA's Jason-1 was sent out to study the ocean surface. A map emerged that combined this data with the much finer resolution images captured from ships equipped with multi-beam sonar. That enables us to look at smaller scale features and also features uh, that are buried by sed sediments in the ocean basins. The new map shows the fabric of the seafloor as never seen before, with thousands of underwater mountains, ridges where continents pulled apart, and extinct earthquake activity buried deep under layers of sediment. At one site where three ridges meet, the Earth's huge, thick tectonic plates appear in exquisite detail. It's called the Indian Ocean Triple Junction. It's one of my favorite spots in the ocean because it really displays um, the, the theoretical aspects of plate tectonics perfectly. We have three plates, the African plate and the Indo-Australian plate and the Antarctic plate, all connected at this one point in, in the center of the Indian Ocean. The map also exposed new continental connections, some of which were buried under sediments 150 million years ago. The map is a powerful tool for fisheries, conservation, and oil exploration. The new ocean depth estimates are critical for safe navigation, military operations, and science missions worldwide, says Sandwell. This new gravity map really provides a reconnaissance tool for planning shipboard surveys. Um, you don't have to go out with your ship and start looking for something new. We can target that with the gravity and then go out with the ship and do the high-resolution survey to really understand these features. Sandwell expects many more discoveries to emerge as scientists delve into the data set. The work is described in the current issue of the journal Science. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.